Hey guys, this is Simone Amote. I'm an apostle of Christ. I'm a writer, song performer. Well, you know, I woke up this morning and God wanted me to tell you why are so many believers defeated by Satan? So many believers are defeated by Satan in the world because you are coming before God with a plan B mentality. You have a plan B mentality and that culture does not function with God. You ask for something and you settle for something else. You know, you check the Bible and get to find the word of God that applies to the problem at hand. Well, the key for victory thus far is the firm resolution to see what you believe, not to believe what you see. Again, the key for victory is to see what you believe, not to believe what you see, and not sell for anything else. You know? Because you put the word of God at heart, you meditate in it, you start proclaiming it, and then settle for anything that comes. Regardless, this is a plan B mentality. It's not working. You ask for a villa and you settle for an apartment. You ask for property, you settle for a location. You order a sober life, you proclaim a sober life, and you settle for having a beer from time to time. Plan B mentality. You ask for 1,000, you settle for 5,000. See what I mean? You betray the word of God. Actually, you're exposing your lack of faith. The book of James 1, 5, 8 writes, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God who gives to all literally and without reproach. And it will be given to him but let him ask in faith, with no doubting, no plan B. For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. From the word that you have proclaimed. That you meditate in. Why? For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. Plan B mentality, plan B culture. You are, from the Bible, a double-minded man. That mentality, that culture of plan B, that plan B culture is quoted in the Bible as a double-minded man man unstable in all his ways man and woman okay see when moses died elohim came up to joshua and said you were the one who will lead these people into the promised land and this is why he told joshua be strong and of good courage for this people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I sow to the fathers to give them only be strong and courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded you do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left that you may prosper Wherever you go, this book of the law, this word that you proclaim, you put at heart, that you utter, that you meditate in, do not depart, do not let it depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then, you will make your way prosperous 
and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. You see, toss and fro by circumstances. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. You see? Because you ask for something very uh, precise, very uh, accurate, and then you settle for anything that comes up regardless. This is the plan B mentality. And this is how the devil defeats you guys. So again, when you check the Bible and get to find the word of God that applies to the problem at hand, the key for victory, therefore, is the firm resolution to see what you believe, not to believe what you see. See what you believe instead of believing what you see. Thank you.